All right, so we got something going on here. And this Filipinos, they don't waste time, man. We don't have Filipino ladder. That's how they hand stuff up. Can you believe that? I think we should see an instant replay. Okay, so we got the guys today, or on this side of the house, where we will expand the balcony and take that whole far side of the house out about, oh, four and a half feet or so. So <clears throat> down comes the last of the old remaining Nipa roof on this side of the house. Uh, we still have that side over there where the storage is going to be, and that can actually wait. There's there's no real hurry. It's a high roof. Eventually, I want to replace it, um, but but there's no hurry. So uh, we're in one of the scramble modes again, just a drill. Say hi, May. Okay, there's May. Uh oh, looks like a beer run. Boy, I get to stay home. I'm lucky, huh? So uh, just another mess, another another hot mess with uh, Tropical Tim in the Philippines here. So. They're clearing all that out. And that's actually, I don't know, um, I guess you could call it a storage space, a kind of an attic. I mean, it goes all the way far to the far wall, so it's pretty spacey. You couldn't stand up in it. Um, very, very small Filipino probably could. But then it tapers, you know, it, it, it kind of it kind of tapers down to that. So we may raise that a little bit, or we just may leave it like it is. Um, it just depends. How all this unfolds so there goes some of the old nipa you can see as it dries out it's a it becomes a real hot mess but hey it's all right it's all right it's going to look good when it's done but hurry the hell up i need to sit down with some san miguel and watch some very cool sunsets happening right over the mountains over there okay so now we're outside up top giving you an exclusive update on everything that's going on now here's the other side of the house that would be our bedroom right there and we are finishing this side so that's kind of how it's been more like a puzzle and you can see there's there's the new wall right there all right and it'll come out all the way up here um and so here's the old one so you can see how much more space we gain plus this corner here I have no idea how that corner happened there. We weren't here when that happened, but anyway, it's coming all the way down here, so it'll be insulated, of course. Uh, got the four by fours in, and they're framing it. They got half of it framed, and that'll get done here uh, probably by tomorrow is my guess. So that's really good news for us. Maybe I can come over here and just show you a quick shot going down the hill there. Um, man, it's really taking shape, taking form, starting to look good. Not all uh, cheesy and, you know, a lot of it got beat up by the typhoon, but it withstood uh, the typhoon, so I was very impressed with that. And that typhoon was this, the, the eye center, uh, or center eye, or whatever you want to call it, eye wall, I don't know. Um, it was only like an hour away from us to the north, so we, we got hit pretty hard. Hi, there's our little food booth. Our main food girl is off today. She had to go to City Hall, so. But our other little helper here, she's making some personality for herself. And she's selling a, kind of like, kind of like, they call them, what do, you, what do you call these things again? They call them ice crumbles. So it's ice, and the kids get to choose different toppings like that. And it's great on a hot day. They get their little spoon, and they get their little syrups and things like that. It's a little cup. How much is that? Five it's only five pesos so what a treat for five pesos so as we head down the stairs here we can see some more progress now one of my 
viewers, a good a good subscriber, a good friend of mine, um, commented on my last video if we were going to do anything about the potential for erosion here along our house. This is our temporary new door. See, we're even selling loads and G cash here. How about that? And man, they come get it, but they only buy like 10 or 20 pesos a day. I, I don't get that, but I guess I said, just buy 100 or 200, you only have to come back and visit us for, you know, a week or so, t two weeks. But hey, come back every day, you might buy something else, right? All right, so anyway, we are walling this up. We're going to take this wall quite high <coughs> all the way down here. And Reno's taking care of that right now um, because with heavy rains, it will eventually um, create some erosion here and there. <coughs> We got some other spots there to fix, so it's still, you know, it's a, it's a long, slow project. But let's take another last look at my Kuya's house. So here's his screen door. Not bad, huh? You can keep the door open and keep the mosquitoes out while getting some fresh air. So we've got the mosquito screen on the inside. We've got the steel matting on the outside. So pretty nice. And then we gave him here a sliding door. Lockable. Not bad. Um, still doing some work on that, but I have to do something because this is rubbing up against the concrete on the inside So one of my other buddies my coach <laughs> That's what I call him. Um, he suggested we just um, take some of the concrete off uh, On the inside there to prevent that so it's not a big deal, but anyway, here is my Kuya's place. He's moved in now. There he is. He's sitting there enjoying it um he likes his ball cap, so we got that taken care of. Now, cute little place, huh? Not too bad. There's Wish for Wanda, spending some time with him. And he's got his TV. And what's cool about this is it's on a bracket, so it can be turned. It can it can swing out like that, you know, all that good stuff. So when he's laying in bed, um, he can watch TV there. Just do that and push it back a little bit, and he's good to go. Got some hammering going upstairs. Here's his room. Got his little fan there. He's got his window. He's got his dresser. Some of his personal effects. Now he's not doing real good. He's taking a turn for the worse. And so we kind of have almost a full time, round the clock nursing on him. Uh, we're just we're hopeful and prayful that um, he lasts because he just he's really taking a turn for the worse. So all in all, it's um it's really turned out quite nice. We still have to put his white ceiling boards up, and that will happen when the, the rest of the house upstairs is near finishing where we don't have to use this place down here. Now, this is a far back room, and we didn't put linoleum as we did the, over here down. Not yet because uh, it's kind of a, a, a working man's area right now for my guys to draw their tools daily and, and finish it out. So this last post will be coming out. And here's his back window there with the mosquito screen and the steel matting. And you can see this is where they're taking the wall out from the old wall there. So when that's finished, um, then I'll probably be able to move some of these tools and things upstairs. All the painting is done. It turned out really quite nice. So we're happy with it. He's happy with it. Um, and listen, this is just from guys that live down, down the hill that have some skill sets based on my direction, what we need. So it's working pretty good. So that's about it. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Nothing to say today? Guess not. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. It's about beer 30 time. We'll talk more about the Sorry Sorry store in some other video. But everything's coming along just right. You can see the expansion of the balcony. Now, we plan on taking this balcony out and we're gonna make this a 15 by 15 deck. So, more to come on that later. But in any case, thanks for stopping. Good to see you all. Don't forget to give that big thumbs up if you feel like it. Peace out. Hey, look at all that. Trust me, it's in there. And we'll long cut the pot. <laughs>